Hello! <laughs> well, you don't have to be a cunt about it. I don't have to, but I want to. <laughs> Hello, Jesus stream. Christ. Wait, actually, you know what I should do? I should probably open it up so chat. I can actually see chat. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you good. weren't the one ready. <laughs> Fuck Blaming you. Blaming us. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. All right. My bag is we good? Cool. Yes. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Each of your characters, I gotta take a shit. <laughs> Each of your characters have made your way to the city of Artemis. You're booking passage on a carriage to the most southern town of the continent called Thunder Tree. You're currently standing at the south gate. You hear a voice yell out to you. Hey, you lot over there. Are you heading to Thunder Tree? Are we all together? Yes, you're all standing outside the gate. You a whole bunch of other people. Okay. I look the man directly in the eyes and I say, Yes, I am heading to Tree Thunder. As you look over, you see a small gnome lady with short red hair tied into a top knot, just wearing plain clothing. Not a man. <laughs> Never assume. <laughs> Never assume? <laughs> Never <right>. assume. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty <laughs> small for a man. <laughs> For a guy with a big head, you are stupid as bricks. I am a five foot three bird person. I am an eight foot tall, 360 pound Goliath wielding a two handed maul. Hi, my name is Gray. I'm the average size for a human. A little bit prettier than that man who just introduced himself. I'm a fire genasi, brown skin. You'll see a bunch of orange lines up and down my body. I have orange flaming hair and uh, amber eyes. Are you all ready to leave? My name is Jeff. <laughs> it's Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Thank you, Dendra. May I please I have a seat you. in the carriage? You may. She leads you to a ho horse drawn a carriage being drawn by six horses. It's a very large carriage. Room for all of you, and there's a whole bunch of crates and supplies in the back of it. I shall seat upon one of the crates, just wondering how the Goliath is going to enter while I open up the book. <laughs> I walk towards the horses and start to scratch one behind the ear. Not realizing how tall and strong I am, I start to push the horse's head towards the other one by accident. It is showing <laughs> discomfort. <laughs> roll an animal handling check. Roll your d. <laughs> roll your d twenty, and or just roll d twenty because you add nothing to it. Jesus, I'm starting to think the bags were a bad idea. Same. Yeah, you can actually search through it. Keep in mind. There you go. You rolled a nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> You think, the, you think the horse is in discomfort, but it seems to be enjoying your scratch. Good! So, we currently have Grey sitting in the back on a crate. What about the rest of you? I wish to sit on the front next to the gnome. <laughs> you, you climb up onto the front, because it is a fairly large size carriage, as the front of it slightly dips a bit under your weight. I, uh, I turn to the gnome lady and say... I believe I could squish you with both hands together if I truly wished it. She looks over at you holding onto the reins. <laughs> you, you know, you probably could. Please don't. It would be funny because you would become a little ball that we could give to children. <laughs> um. She looks at you slightly worried but focuses on the road ahead. I'm going to talk to you, mister. So, uh, I'm going to ignore it. Uh, <laughs> fuck me. No. No, I'm probably in my book just listening as you talk right now. Oh, I'm in a very important part. Uh, well, what do you do in here <laughs> besides reading? What do you do in here? Well, I've already taken a shit in your food, if that's what you're asking. Uh, okay, of course, you're fun to talk I just... To. That's a hundred percent sure. Just going somewhere else. Needing to find work. Well, <laughs> I know of a place that can 
employ people of your stature. Chat's calling you out. This is an awkward fucking conversation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. She suddenly brings the carriage to a stop. Liam, you see stopping. a dead horse in the middle of the road. In the middle of the road. The stopping of the carriage wakes me up. Yeah. Well, you see it as well. You see a dead horse about a hundred feet in the middle of the road that's been torn to shreds. I point at the dead horse and say, "Look, you lost one." <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> You. Uh, she I'd like look. Yes. I told you I'd I was like going to play talk. like this. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's funny. Um, I'm going to get. Zed's going to get out of the carriage and I'd like to. to uh, perception before going to investigate the dead horse. Sure. Roll perception. 10. 10. Look, oh, that works. Look, looking around, you see long grass off to the sides of the roads, but you can't see. Anything that would have killed this horse and left it there. I also decide to leave the carriage and head towards yep. the horse. Go yeah. for it. I you put... get off. <laughs> continue, what sorry, do you do? Continue, continue. <laughs> you, you get off the horse and start walking forward. What do you do as you're getting off? I lay both my hands on the ground and pick the horse up. God. As you get up to it, suddenly. <laughs> Hit by an arrow, dead center in the chest. You take four points of piercing damage as you are hit from okay. seemingly out of nowhere. Do I succeed picking up the horse though? <laughs> oh, God. You still want to pick up the horse? I do, definitely. Athletics check. Roll, okay. roll a d20. 16. With your amazing feat of strength, you put your arms under the horse and just lift it up over your head. I also everyone need everyone to roll initiative. Oh, I knew it yay! Was combat! Woo! Um. Well, I would like to jump off the top of the carriage. You jump off the top of the carriage and take cover behind it. Sure. You j run off the back of the carriage and take cover behind it. Is that all you're doing? I would like to make a perception check to see if I can see where the arrow came from. Go for it. Roll a perception check. So, mm, I got nice. a five. <laughs> you have no idea where this arrow came from. <laughs> Yay! This fun. I'm going to try and see where the arrow came from as well. Uh... Another perception check from you. Twenty-four. Four. Glancing about as you jump out the back of the carriage, you notice to the left... Well, I was already back... out of the carriage. What? Oh, yeah, that's right. You were too, sorry. Looking around to the left and right in the long grass, you see on the left you see two creatures with short bows, and on the right you see the same. So since he noticed them, do we all see nope. them now too? Well, he has he hasn't said a thing to you, so no. Waffles, you notice an arrow fly off from the left straight past you into the carriage driver, Ooh. and she falls unconscious. Oh no! Are you gonna tell us where they are, Waffles? <laughs> You have also, to wait for his also, friend. also from the left, waffles. An arrow flies at you, and you take six points of piercing damage. As it hits you straight in the shoulder. Did it? It hit my armor class. Oh, it well cleared your armor class. Okay. <laughs> How much did you say it took? Six. God damn. And the final one's going to make it attack at you, you waffles. You have three quarters cover, so that's a plus five to your AC. That's off the table. And it plants straight into the side of the carriage. I thought you were going to say the side of his head. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> would not kill me on the first round. You're up, Galarog. Alright. Do I know where they are? You know where the one that shot you from is. about 30 feet off to your left. I throw the horse! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! Okay, I want Saw you to... Coming. I want to, you to roll a d20 and just add three. Add three? Of course, you are not proficient in horse as a weapon. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm going to upgrade my horse proficiency. Can that even be a thing? That would be it, really it'd be an improvised weapon. 16. <laughs> okay, I want you to roll 2d6 for me. <laughs> Hell yeah. Death by horse. All right. 
Oh my, oh my god! <laughs> so, with the horses, you are holding the horse above your head as you are hit with two arrows. You just reach back and lob the fucking thing <laughs> and clear this creature out. You hear bones snapping as it impacts yeah. against it. Good shit, Liam. Can we have a death by horse in chat, please? <laughs> so, Liam, that Murder means you're going to have to take proficiency in horse later. <laughs> I am horse proficient. Mystic, you're up. Well, I close my book. Yeah. And take out the other book. Yep. The and just, other book. The yeah, one. And just look out and say, uh, so that's where he is. Hold up my hand and yell magic, or, or yell magic missile. But we both know what the actual spell I'm doing is. Yep. Oh shit. <laughs> Did he just? Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, so, I, I want you to roll the damage dice and then just double it. That's fucking okay. awesome. Okay. We're getting some good fucking rolls. Yeah, man. I just want to point out round. the magic yeah. that's shooting out just looks like a bird. Uh. Six. Six. You unleash as you see this magical bird creature fly out of this seemingly weird human's hands and just obliterate the creature he sees Jesus. on his left. And then just go back into the carriage. Yeah. I'm enjoying this party. You're up, Galarog. Alright, do I see the... the... You, see, you see the other one attacking Tato. Alright, how far away is it from me? It would be from you. It's back that way. 50 feet. 50 feet? Right. You have ranged weapons. You have, your ja you have your javelins you can throw. You can throw a hand axe. I could also throw the maul. You could... <laughs> <laughs> yes, Throwing you the maul is very far, and you can certainly try, but you may not reach it. Okay, fair enough. Please don't hit me with the horse. <laughs> I'm out of the horse. Is, I'm, I'm, the I'm horse, horse is on left. the <laughs> other side of the road. <laughs> I'm all out of horses. Four horses. Can I well, grab a live horse? horse? <laughs> <laughs> they are still bridled together, so no. What about the gnome lady? She is <laughs> unconscious on the seat and a hundred feet behind you, so no. I was only joking. All right, I grab a javelin and I want to throw it at. Is it a kobold or is it a goblin? It's a kobold. Okay, that twenty. Okay, you reach back and throw this javelin like it's nothing else and just straight through its forehead. Hell yeah. The, javelin, the whole length of the javelin goes through and keeps going a bit and sticks into the ground. Hell yeah. Galrog, motherfucker. Combat for all <laughs> intensive purposes is now over. Liam murdered one by throwing a fucking horse at it. You just annihilated one. <laughs> I, I annihilated one and then... And Liam just annihilated him. <laughs> yeah. You want to pick her up? I'm going to pick her up. I'm going to put her into the uh, carriage. As you pick her up and put her into the carriage, all the shit that was in the back of the carriage is gone. I was in the carriage this entire time. Oh, wait, you were too. I forgot yeah, about that. Was... Ooh. Ooh. Uh oh. Ooh. So did he just fall asleep after killing that one guy? Or... <laughs> no, I was awake. <laughs> I forgot that. Roll perception check for me, quickly. Are we going back in time a little bit? <laughs> no. Like, no. A little bit, yeah. I forgot he didn't leave. You noticed three more kobolds sneaking up to the back of the carriage. Ooh. They haven't seen you yet or know that you see them. I'm not going to say a word. But I'm going to talk to Waffle's mind and tell him, go around the back. There's a couple more. As you're standing there scouting out in front of you, Waffles, you hear a voice in your, head, in your head saying, go around the back of the carriage and look. Okay. Well, you have and... no idea where this voice came from. No idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. Then I'm go also going to prepare an attack to blast the kobold when I see Waffles pop in. Yeah. Oh, fuck, that's bad for me. All right. Um, <laughs> Waffles comes around the back. You see the three of them get startled, and you can now make your attack. Blast. Go for it. Roll attack. So me and Tater are just uh, fucking bukaki over this goddamn dead kobold. <laughs> yep. Yeah, pretty much. I got the arrow sticking out of my chest and my arm, and I've got a giant grin on my face. Six. <laughs> Six. As you walk around the back of the carriage and see these 
kobolds get startled by your presence, Waffles. You see a magical bird fly out the back of the carriage and smack one of them straight in the chest. Oh, shit. Two of them are going to attack you, Waffles, and one at you, Mystic. Okay. A 20 is going to hit you, Waffles. Ouch! An 11 won't... No, a natural. Okay. A, okay. An 11 won't hit you, and a 19 is going to hit you, Mystic. Yep. So the first one on Waffles, that's four points of piercing damage as another arrow flies straight into your leg. Okay. And the one that hits you, Mystic, hits you for seven, straight in the chest. Ow. Damn. Tater joins fight. Arcade's still trying to get his javelin. <laughs> you can run and sprint and get within ten feet of them. Or you could run, throw a javelin at one of them. It's up to you. Mm. Or you can stand there and crack jokes. Don't give him the option to crack jokes. He'll choose that. Thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Hypothetically, could I pull out my water skin, take a chug, and uh, crack a joke about we might be having some cooked lizard tonight? Yes, Urukai from Lord of the Rings. Thank you. <laughs> well, make your joke. Oh, Come on. That was Don't just it, say it. But, like, okay. There isn't much else to add to that, is there? Okay, you do right, I'll that. Try, I'll try and throw a javelin again. How about that? An uh, arrow flies through the air and hits you on the chest near where the other ones have. Might be unconscious. Oh, you are now goodness. unconscious. Might might be in a spot of bother, fellas. Right. It, initiative now is over, and I need you to make a death saving throw, Liam. Okay. I went that entire encounter without taking damage, didn't I? Yep. And I was one away from death. I am dead. Waffles is <laughs> what if you're old? Def 15. 15, you have one successful death saving throw. Do I need to keep going? Uh, keep it, it out for... Keep, keep it now, we'll keep in the order. What are the rest of you doing? I, 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 see, I see the big man down, so I'm going to go over to him and... Can I do a medicine check on him? Sure. Make a medicine check. Just stabilize well, he, him. That well, is... he does that, I'd like to go pick up my dart. That I I'd like to gather up the bodies. What, what'd plus, you roll? A three? Yeah, plus three is a six. You oh, yeah. try and <laughs> you, as you pull out the arrows out of his chest, he starts bleeding more. Uh, oh, fuck. I need you to make another death saving throw, Liam. What you fucking do? <laughs> yeah, I'll fly over to him and try to try to save him. So roll, <laughs> roll a d20 and add two. <laughs> Galrog killed by medic. I saw that. <laughs> Liam, you're at zero hit points, but you're no longer dying. Yay! Your death you're saving welcome. throws have gone away. Don't worry, giant human person. Bird person will not let you die this day. Oh, uh, can I? Uh, I want cobalt? my javelins. You are still unconscious, but at zero hit points. Um, I, I boast. <laughs> <laughs> I murdered a cobalt with a horse! I think you should be a little quiet because I don't know how many more there are out there. Oh lord. I didn't get a chance to say this before, but you there, flame creature, are you some sort of demon kin? If so, then I refuse to help you in any manner. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm. The not moving sure. campfire is trying to speak! <laughs> <laughs> I rip oh. off a cobalt leg and rub it against him! <laughs> please don't, please don't touch me with that thing. You, so you little, uh... rip off a. Roll a strength check. Okay. I tell her, go ahead. We'll meet up with you at the city if you want to meet later. But you go ahead. We seem to have something to deal with here. Oh, Mystic oh. turns to see me rubbing a cobalt leg against Waffle's face and what, my other hand what, around his neck. <laughs> what'd, you roll, what'd you roll of that day 20 plus 3? 15. You managed to rip off the cobalt's leg. <laughs> As you I'm angling out. Waffles' head down to try and ignite the Come cobot's on. head with his hair. So, 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 can, you, can you not be manhandling me like that? As, not, as, he as, has an accent. <laughs> as you're doing that, strange, it doesn't seem to be catching fire or cooking at all. I'm, I'm not a campfire. <laughs> Please don't do that. But you look like one! I am a fire genasi. Exactly. Fire. Fire hot. Cook my leg. She looks at you with a <laughs> nod. I cast I produce just... flame. Very well then. <laughs> and I hold my hand out to him and look. Try it here. 
I cook my cobalt leg and turn to the rest of the party and say, See? Mobile campfire! <laughs> I tell the gnome, oh. bye. We'll meet later. Make sure you make your delivery and hop off. You dare you lie to off. me again? You as, filth! <laughs> as, as you hop off, the carriage starts pulling away from the rest of you. I'm sorry. I, I do not know many of demons, but you look like one to me. I... Forgive me, Elemental. I'm so sorry. I approach them both from the rear, grab them with both my arms, and pick them up and start walking and say, It is all good, gents! We walk for quest! I want you to roll a strength check again, Lou. <laughs> can I roll you. an opposing strength check so I don't you get picked up? You totally can. Can I fucking roll anything to, like, fly away from him? <laughs> Joyous banter, fellows! You pick them up and start walking, but also have no idea where you're really going. You just start walking off into the shrub, into the <laughs> long grass. Let uh, us quest! Myst Mystic, you see <laughs> yeah, this from behind. Yeah, I'm just quietly walking behind without bringing attention to not get <laughs> I'm hugged. Just, I'm just gonna tell him, uh, big man, uh, could you set me down? I'll walk on my own, I have legs. No, walking campfire! I will not let you! You will set this forest on fire! I must contain the flames! What? I refuse to be used in this manner. Let me go, giant, please. You oh! can make another... on my own. You can try and break set... three at... by making another acrobatics check if you want. I'm... Fret not, not little made... birdie! I have can bird I seed in my back pocket! Can I bite his finger? Sure, roll an attack. Let me go. Galrog, you feel a beak bite your finger and instinctively pull away and drop a bird man. <laughs> as, you, <laughs> as you fall straight to the ground, Tator. I turn and face the bird person on the ground, staring him down, and my smile has left my face. Um, quickly, you should can not at... have done that. Um, hey, uh, big man, can you put me down before you use me as a weapon? I turn to the bird person on the ground, I stare at him, I get very close to his face, and then I give him a very big, teeth-filled grin, and say, Alright, you don't understand what it means to be a part of a party! <laughs> I put you both down and continue walking. Oh, I wrote a 17 on that, but okay. As you're getting ready to break free, you're just placed on the ground. Like, oh. <laughs> oh, okay. I turn around again and say, just be careful to stay on the path so we don't ignite the, f the forest. I don't want to burn the forest down. Look, look, I'm going to put my hood up, cover my hair. What about your feet? The my feet have... <laughs> Do you want my, my coat? Feet... <laughs> I have shoes on. My feet are covered. Your shoes look pathetic. Oh, Jen's probably over there like, why did I agree to DM these <laughs> <laughs> No, I am thoroughly enjoying this. 